They take care of our machines, irons, phones, and toasters, MP3s and TV screens, even roller coasters. Without them, clocks stop ticking. Without them, lights go out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out. The baby doll. Tula, you gotta get out. We can't all fit in here. This time we'll take a ride, and next time you can. And I'm by myself again? Hey, don't worry. I'm gonna be getting such a cool car later today, Tula. Will it be a big one? It'll be big enough for all of you. Tom Thomas. Here, your toy came, just like you wanted. Awesome! Wait, what is this? A baby doll? Uh, uh. Splendid! Mom, where's the car? Oh, it's gotta be some mistake. I'll find out for you. I'm calling them. Good to be a kid. People take care of you, feed you, buy you toys, and read you bedtime stories. But in return, you have to listen to adults. Go to preschool, then school, and always remember to put on a hat. All kids dream about being a parent, at least for a little while. Because moms, they're just superhuman. Human moms can do laundry, cook meals, iron clothes, and check their kids' homework all at once. Fixie moms can fix irons and hair dryers and can teach young Fixies how they can do it. It's a shame that you can't become a parent before you grow up, but you can have fun pretending to be one. That's why girls like to play with dolls. Boys usually don't like it, but I don't see why. Dads can be really cool, too. What am I supposed to do with this now? I'm not some kind of girl who plays with dolls. <laughs> Hey there, come on now. That baby doll's a real cutie. Why don't you put it down and we can get back to racing? Wait, wait! The baby's hungry. He needs to eat. Tom Thomas, help me! No, I won't. Won't you please? He's crying, don't you hear? Ma -ma. Oh. Mama! <laughs> That's all? after that boy. But what if something terrible has happened? My dolly's eyes were shiny. Toes and fingers tiny. He never acted whiny. I love my dolly so. Now my life is gloomy. How this happened to me? I can't find my cutie. My dolly's gone, oh no. Oh no. Honey, don't be upset about the car. It's gonna get here soon. By the 
the way, why did you put the doll in the cupboard? It was so hard to find. But is it still home? It's in the box over there. It's got to go back to the store. My poor dolly's gone. Ma, ma. My dolly! We're supposed to send him back today. Oh. Only I told Mom that I'd rather keep him. Hey, and what about your big new race car? Later. Did you do all this for me? You know... Papa! Whoa! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> the Masquerade. So, Tom Thomas, did you choose a costume for the New Year's party? Not yet. These are no good. I've been a pirate. How about a vampire? Did that. And a knight? Mm-hmm. This year, I... I want to do something that's original. And what if... I know what! You can go dressed as me! As Nolik! Perfect! No one's ever gone as a fixie. Ever! Long, long ago, people would put on masks and dance in order to scare away evil spirits. In ancient theater, actors would change masks to play a few different roles. Everyone liked the idea of hiding their faces behind mysterious masks so much that people started organizing fun outdoor festivals called masquerades. There are countries around the world, like Brazil and Italy, that turn into one big masquerade ball during the holidays. Hey there, what are you making? A costume for a masquerade! Can you guess who I'm going as? Yeah, but why does it have to be Nolik? Because I came up with it. Fire'd be a much cooler costume. <laughs> That's not true. Stop arguing. I can go dress up as you and you. Now we're talking. <clears throat> Smart fixies wear glasses. <laughs> Your glasses are too small to even fit on his finger. They don't make glasses just like yours. What a cute fixie! Splendid! Not bad! Only if I were you, I'd add a backpack to your costume. Any fixie who's fashionable is wearing it. And maybe add my curls to it, please? Uh... If you don't, then our feelings will be hurt. Class! Did we cover everybody? Oh! We didn't include Simka! And where are we going to find room for her? What can I do about it? I already got to get going. Then let's just not tell her. See you later, Tom Thomas. Thanks, guys. Kitties! What have you been doing all this time while I was busy loading up the confetti? Uh, we were doing our homework. And looking at this magazine? And talking? Yeah, all of that and more. <laughs> That's got to be the worst lying ever. Tell me what you're hiding. Have you lost your mind? Sorry, but there was absolutely no room left on Tom Thomas. That's not what I'm talking about. What is the number one rule for fixies? Well, what did we promise? We, we won't, won't let out our secret. secret. Right, but you just let it out. Now everyone will know. Tom Thomas wouldn't tell anyone about us. I hope he doesn't. Well, maybe. Everyone will figure that he's dressed up like some nutty candy. What kind of nutty candy has a backpack on and glasses? We're in real trouble. I thought the glasses looked sharp. So what are we going to do now? Call the professor, right? Or we should call Grampus or Papus. Ah! Don't panic. Let's wait till Tom Thomas gets back. There are many different types of masks, and some of them are very important. Medical masks are used by both doctors and sick people to reduce the spread of illnesses. Oxygen masks help people breathe. Fencers, hockey goalies, and boxers all use masks to protect their faces from being hit. The blue glass in a welder's mask is used to protect their eyes from dangerously bright light. Sea divers wear masks for swimming underwater. Without a mask, it would be very difficult to see the beauty of the underwater world. 
The masks that people wear at carnivals and parties? Well, they're just for having fun and putting everyone in a good mood. Or as a disguise, so that no one recognizes you right away. It can be a lot of fun to fool somebody like that. So how was it? It was great! They had a contest for costumes, and I won! Hooray, that's all. Say bye to us. <sighs> I hope you won't be upset, guys. But I couldn't tell anyone that I was a fixie. Here's all I could think of. Grand prize for best costume, robotic toucan! Hey, come on! Do you think we look like toucans? Yeah? Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> All right there, fixie toucans. We've got work to do. Oops. Happy New Year. <laughs> the sieve. Dad, what time is Mom getting back from her conference? She'll be back in an hour. What surprise can we make for her? Let's bake her buns with raisins in them. They're her favorite. That's a great idea. Ah. Where do we keep our recipes? Huh, they're not here. Where could they be? What are you looking for? <gasps> a recipe. They're in the drawer by the stove, over there. Great, thanks a lot. Here they are. That's fantastic. Let's see, what do we need? Milk. Flour. Eggs. Some cinnamon and raisins. The cinnamon's right there. But you're out of raisins. Uh, we're out of raisins. Can we make them without? No, Mom loves them with raisins. Ah, it's too late. The stores are closed. Cereal! We got cereal! And so? It has raisins, look! Tom Thomas, you're a genius! Why don't you be in charge of the raisins? Tom Thomas, what does Mom use to knead dough? The mixer. How about the mixer? Hmm, not a bad idea. I don't think you have enough raisins. But you haven't made the dough yet. It'll be really quick with the mixer. All right, Dad. We'll see who finishes first. Come on, faster, faster. Don't be so clumsy. If you think you're so good, then why don't you help? Fine, we'll help. <laughs> Catch! What's going on in there? We picked everything off the top. We have to dive down. Then dive. Hurry up. Dad's almost done putting the mixer together. Where are the raisins? It's dark down there. We can't see any raisins. Well, try diving again. No, this way won't work. We need a filter. In order to separate seeds from the husk, air from dust, and water from harmful particles, we use filters. The simplest kind of filter is a metal netting. These kinds of filters are installed in washing machines and dishwashers. They keep the water clean by capturing small debris and sand. As a result, machines work better and go longer without breaking. In other words, filters help separate what is wanted from what isn't. I think I know what Mom uses. Perfect! That filter's a sieve. Grab the bowl and hold the sieve over it. Pour in the cereal. Now shake it so the tiny flakes fall through the sieve and the raisins stay in it. Turning the mixer on. Then you need to shake faster. <laughs> Dad, you're spraying the batter all over the kitchen. The mixer's too powerful. The mixer's fine. The batter's too liquid. You have to add flour. Add flour. Oh, right. How do you know all this? Shake it some more. No need. I shook all the flakes through it. Glass. It really worked. Dad! What? Ready to put in the raisins? Look at you! How did you get them all out so fast? By using our sieve, Dad! Do you 
know the story about Cinderella. Her evil stepmother wouldn't let her go to the ball. Instead, she poured peas into a sack of cinder and ordered Cinderella to pick them all out. But what most people don't know is that it was Fixies who helped her separate the peas from cinder with the help of a sieve. That's right! Cinderella was friends with the Fixies. You can find evidence of Fixies in a number of tales. Don't Tom Thumb or Thumbelina remind you of somebody? How did these tiny characters make their way into fairy tales? It's quite possible that long ago, a Fixie who wasn't paying attention was spotted by a storyteller. And that became the inspiration for countless tales. All right, you can open your eyes. Ta-da! Beautiful. Whose idea was this? Tom Thomas. Mmm, they're so good. What recipe is this? Tom Thomas found it. And you remembered that I love raisins. Tom Thomas sifted them out of the cereal. Well done, Tom Thomas. All by yourself? Shh. I should say so. Tish! <laughs> 